can you explain how property can provide a secure financial future? Yeah, I, I think, it, you know, I, I, sort of thinking back to my sort of personal journey into property, it's fairly typical in some ways. <coughs> you know, I grew up with my father used to say, you know, getting bricks and mortar, you know, stability, you know, to, you know kind of geared me or certainly turned my head towards being a property investor before I really understood what's going on. But how it works, I suppose, is, is, is that you can invest in a, an asset that can give you cash flow. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's the, the, the penny drop moment for a lot of the investors that, that we meet is, you know, I think for people looking from the outside who haven't maybe considered property yet, um, they might think, oh, it's all about just waiting for the, for the value of the property to rise and then, you know, you, you make your money. Well, that's, that's not really even a strategy. You know, that's, that's the crystal ball that, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Um, so it's about cash flow. It's about having passive income. It's about investing in, in, in um, the right strategy, uh, getting into the market um, and, and, and being exposed to that potential uplift. But the real benefit really is having a, a strong cash flowing asset mm. just drip feeds in your favor. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot. Could be it could support a pension. Could be part of a pension. It could yeah. be a pension. But it just it just drip feeds in your favor. And and in many ways, I suppose what you're doing is just setting yourself up for a win. Um, it's an inevitable win because over time that drip feed effect will you know will accumulate. Okay. I think what's also nice about property is that you can choose at what level you want to operate. So we, we have you know, students that have gone through um, Asset Academy and Performing Property who have completely you know, le left work, that they, they do their properties full time, they're, they're creating a, a business and they're creating a passive income more than they had when they were working. Um, but you get other people who are just there to sort of, it's there to give them, to fill a hole, to fill a gap. It's not everything, it's not, it's not their only thing but it's certainly that the, the passive area in their lives. Because a lot of people have, you, know, you make your living through working, you make your living, like myself and Steve, if we go out and give a corporate speech, we get paid. But, but with our property business, um, you know, the, it's that drip feed of passive income. So I think people, when they, when they look at property and when they really understand property, because you know, I didn't understand this five years ago, when you really understand it, you understand that, that yes, you can create a passive income, um, yes, you can create more time for yourself because of that. Um, but actually, the thing that I think Steve touched on, the, 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 the capital gain of the property is a secondary benefit. It's not your focus. Mm. And I think that was a, a revelation to us. Um, and, and you just have to choose at what level you want that to be. There's no, there's no rule as to how, how big or small your portfolio should be.